Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Will here again with a video from Sigma 3 Survival School, and today we're gonna make us a mallet out of this big fella. Why? Because I want to. Two, because it's gonna be cool, and three, well, because I want to. Let's get to it. Couple things you need to cover first is get a, a good solid piece of wood. Um, this here is a hardwood, this is elm. This right here, like I said, we're just gonna go by about two fists from the top, maybe a two and a half fists. That way it gives me two hands worth of grip to swing down, okay? I just wanna make something massive, okay? I wanna make something cool that I'm gonna like, all right? So this will show you how quickly I can get through this to make something quick, fast, and easy. Okay, y'all, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a relief cut. Uh, probably about a couple of fists down from whatever end I choose to be the top. I want the fat end here to be the top, so I'm gonna come down one, two, and maybe half a fist down. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my handy dandy silky, I'm gonna create a relief cut. Probably about half a blade. Okay, so now that I got my relief cut all the way around this log, I'm gonna take my Canadian Camp Special, my Bark River Knives, probably my favorite knife that I have. And I'm just gonna start batoning off chunks of this thing. I'm just gonna start batoning chunks off this bad boy down to that relief cut. Okay, now that we've got a baton and chopped down to a relative size diameter of what we want, okay, this is where I'm gonna come in with my favorite, you know, tools to get into where it's really comfortable. You wanna remove all the splinters, anything that might aggravate your hands when swinging this tool, right? So you don't, there ain't nothing that's gonna ruin your day quicker than getting a splinter in your hand, especially if it's cedar or something like that that can go septic when you're working with your hands. Whatever tool you're comfortable with, I'm gonna use one of my tomahawks here. And I'm just gonna find high places and stuff like that and start taking them out to I get down to the rough diameter that I want that I feel comfortable with when swinging. Okay, using my axes and stuff like that, I got down to a little bit smaller in diameter where I, where I like it. You know, I left a little meat on it because I'm gonna narrow it down some more to where I get down to that sweet spot where I like. Right now, it's just a matter of just taking your favorite knives, whichever it is, and just hogging off material. All right, so here it is, all right? Nice, big, and heavy. Like I said earlier, this isn't necessary. I just did this because I wanted to. Figure it'd be fun, make it look nice and pretty. And you know what I use this for? Well, whatever I feel like smashing, whether it be you know wedges into wood, maybe I find some magical troll in the force I feel like crushing his head in for you Lord of the Ring nerds out there. But in this case, today, we're gonna make Gallagher proud. When life gives you lemons, we're just gonna make a whole lot more smashed lemons. All right, so if you like what you saw on this video today, as you can see, it was a lot of fun. This is the sort of stuff that we like to do during our instructor course that we offer here at Sigma 3. It's 45 days long, it's great, all right? I am the lead instructor here. You come and learn from me personally. I too also went through the same instructor program. So I take a lot of pride and uh, personal interest in making sure it's the best experience that I can offer for any of you all out there, the fans who wanna come train and have a good time, okay? If you're interested in any more of these skills or you wanna come make fun stuff like this and smashing fruit, you know, whatever, uh, check us out at survivalschool.us, okay? We have an entire training calendar there on our website and hopefully we'll see you soon.